All right, we're back again for another Lix tutorial. This one's going to focus on how do I use Lix to write a conference paper. So you go to your conference website, and you'll notice they always provide an author kit. So let's go here, here at CVPR 2013. We're going to go to the submissions, and here I click on the author guidelines and you can tell they're providing me an author kit okay they always provide you tech and word templates uh, and here let's download the zip file and I'm going to extract it and let's extract this under all right okay so here's the author kit so if you look in author kit and we want to work in the latex directory okay you'll notice that uh, it doesn't provide me a Lix file, right? Because it's a LaTeX uh, template, not a Lix template, but we want to be able to write the uh, conference uh, paper in Lix and just use these. So the easiest thing to do is they'll always provide you uh, a, tech, a tech file here. So you'll see here's an example tech file uh, with a .tech extension, either the review one or the final one. But uh, so let's look at the review one and I'll just open this up and if you open it up in your the tech editor that you have installed here's the raw tech code and here's the generated uh, PDF that it's looking at okay so the easiest way to get to do this is to just import this text file tech file into Lix so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna launch Lix And I'm going to import and say tech plane. And I'm going to go to my author kit and say import that tech file. Okay, the first thing you want to do as soon as you import it is to ch check and see if it builds to make sure that there are no uh, issues and that it just reproduces the the tech file it's building right here okay hold on it's coming up there we go so notice that it built the PDF file without any issues that's what we like okay but now you got to do a little bit of cleanup uh, it's a lot of tech things are left in there that you don't need okay and in tech these percent signs mean comment so you need to just go through and delete these things out of it so notice, this guy, when it imported it in, it, it uh, brought in, if we have, let's bring up the, the, the tech file here. If we edit our tech file. Okay, so here's our tech file. So if you look at the raw tech file, uh, notice that it was built off of an article and that's what the base uh, Lix one was before when we looked at our previous um, uh, uh, tutorial and it's just giving you some formatting things on what this article is like. So this is the raw tech template for this conference and this is telling it what packages uh, they're going to use. Okay, One thing to uh, keep in mind here it's using a package called CVPR if you look in your author directory okay notice that's that file that's what it's referring to the dot sty file and now this is, this is called a style file text style file this style file may use the other style files that are in that same directory so you need to keep all of these sty files that came with your um, with your author kit together and it also comes with the BSC files for bibliography formatting but since it's a standard IEEE you don't need to include that Lix will be able to take care of that okay so and then if you scroll down a little bit you notice look this is saying author first author institution those are all showing up here in the Lix okay you don't really need these parts because Lix already has uh, will already be able to handle author uh, because that's pretty standard so you could delete that okay and then you could just it'll say standard but come up here and call it the 
author and you can type in the author in and notice always check every time you delete something just check and see if you could rebuild it and it's coming up fine it's building uh, the why the author didn't show up is it, I went ahead and imported the review template and the review one they automatically make it anonymous okay because that's how we want it if you look at the tech file let's bring up our tech file you could see right at the beginning of the tech file it'll tell you right here it says uncomment this line for final submission okay well I don't work with this raw tech file anymore I have actually imported into Lix so I need to do this in Lix so if you go into Lix go into settings and come down to the preamble all this stuff at the top of the tech file sorry all this stuff that was at the top of the tech file like all these use package statements right they all got put into the preamble of my Lix document so this actually calls tech to execute this before compiling the Lix document so right here you'll see there's our little comment if we uncomment that guy and I build my build my Lix document my uh, sorry my uh, build it and now our author would show up okay so but you don't want to leave the author in there for a, a blind conference we go back and comment that out again this is also showing you a good example of when you need to use packages you need to go to the latex preamble in Lix and put the packages there okay in order to make it a little cleaned up you can put it new lines here that doesn't do anything so remember the CVPR it's going to look for that CVPR style file these packages they're not in your local directory and when they're not what it does is it automatically looks for it in your tech distribution so these are standard tech packages so this one's in your local directory that's provided by the conference these are just some standard tech packages that it'll find in your tech distribution if it doesn't find them it would complain it wouldn't build it okay so now we've done that you're pretty much set just go through and clean up any remaining uh, you could always just open up these things to make sure there's not actually tech code in them clean up all of the files in there uh, and look th what they did was they gave you an example of how to create a figure by providing you a float because Lix just took this Lix took the uh, where, where are we at? Let's see if we can find the figure. Okay, so here Lix just took this tech code on how do you make a figure and it created this float box over here automatically. You don't need this because Lix can you could just enter it the way we talked about in our Lix tutorial on how to enter figures. You just delete that and use the stand you could use your float here and it'll automatically format everything properly okay so basic idea is to uh, same similar with tables you could delete their table and insert your own uh, download the author kit unzip it to a directory look for the tech file uh, the tech file which is the template file and also any supporting style or CLS files uh, and keep them in the directory that where you decide to work on your Lix document. Then import the template file into Lix and build it. Make sure it builds, uh, and then uh, you know delete all the extra tech stuff that it imports. Uh, check the the preamble um, and make sure there's the packages you need are loaded there, and you're off and running. And you should be able to uh, write your conference paper in Lix instead of working uh, in tech.